In the last video, we talked about math operators. And we talked about addition, subtraction, and other things you can do for, with math in ActionScript. Today, we're going to talk about order of operations, which, the, which is the specific order that Flash uses to execute math. It isn't from left to right, which is what most of you might be familiar with. So let's take a look, look, at, the, look at an example and see how it works. So in this case, I have a calculation here, which I am associating with the variable answer. As you can see, I'm creating a new variable answer, which I'm saying is going to be a number. And then, I'm, um, and then I have the operator addition, multiplication, division, and then a subtraction. And then I'm taking this value and I'm outputting it to the console using the trace statement. So let's actually think about how this would probably work based on our knowledge of math. So from left to right, we would say that 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 divided by 4 is 2 and a half. Minus 1 is 1.5. So let's actually run this and see what we get. As you can see, we get the number 2.5, which is not what we were expecting. So let's actually explain how order of operations works in Flash. First, multiplication and division are always done first, regardless if they are in the beginning or the end of the, of the actual calculation. Addition and subtraction are done after that. So in the case of order of operations, 2 plus 3 is ignored, and 3 times 2 is calculated first, and then is divided by 4. So let's take a look at the bottom. I actually have documented how it works. So we ignore the 2 plus 3, and then we have 3 times 2 equals 6. 6 divided by 4 is 1.5. And then at that point, there's no more multiplication, division, or modulo operators. So it goes back to the beginning and then does addition and subtraction. So now, 2 plus 1.5 is 3.5. 3.5 minus 1 is 2.5. So that's how Flash gets to this. So you might be scratching your head and wondering why. That's because any time we're doing math, we want to make sure that it's always done exactly the same way. If we do things from left to right, we might get into a situation where the order is going to dictate specifically how things are going to work. By having things done using addition and subtraction after multiplication and division, we can make sure that our variables and properties are going to be calculated in a correct and consistent order. If you've taken algebra, you might remember order of operations in algebra. This model adopts the same thing that you have in algebra, doing multiplication and division first, and then doing addition and subtraction. Now, if you remember in algebra, you're able to group things using parentheses to say, calculate me first. We can do the same exact thing in Flash. So if I wanted to force 2 plus 3 to happen first, I can wrap it with parentheses. So if I do that here, now it's going to force that to happen first, because anything that's in a, in a set of parentheses is calculated before multiplication or division. So now if I run this, I get 1.5, because the 2 plus 3 is being forced to be calculated first before it does the multiplication or the division. Then it wraps up at the end and then does the subtraction at the end. So now we get the value 1.5. Now that we have some of the fundamentals down, how to use math operators, how to be able to create objects, create instances, and know some of the very fundamental basics of ActionScript, what we're going to do in the next set of videos is talk about events and how we can have our ActionScript respond to the mouse and create a cool, a cool clock example where we can manipulate objects based on timers and, and, the, and the mouse.